Um, my name is Kai Pierce. I'm from Whangarei, a small town up north. Um, mm. I'm 19 and I'm pretty much a full time dancer. Yeah. Mm. Whangarei. So, when did you move here to Auckland? About seven, eight, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Mm. And what about your family? How many in your family? I have a little little brother, Hunter. I have a little sister, Ruth. She dances with me as, as well. And I have an older brother, Taylor. So I've got three siblings mm -hmm. and I got mum and dad, yeah. And where's <laughs> mum and dad from? Where's their roots? Um, mum's from Kaikoue. That's like far past Whangarei. And my dad, I'm pretty sure it's from Whangarei. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everyone up there is just, yeah. The so you're an up north like, girl. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it like coming from a big, from a small town into a big city? It's not. Because I moved when I was about 12 and like I went to the Horia school. <laughs> like I, I had like, I, my school was small, it was like full of Maoris, it was like cool. And then when I came here, um, we moved to the shore and it was real different, real different. Like um, my intermediate, I went to Belmont Intermediate and it was, I was probably the only Maori. There's one other boy Maori, but like, yeah, it was it was real hard to adapt to that. Mm. Yeah. Well, what's what are some of those the things that you found hard about it? Um, making friends. Yeah, that's I literally had no friends at intermediate. Um, what else? What was your outlet then? Like, if you had no friends, what would you do? I would literally go to school, do my work, even though I hated it, and then I just eat and then come home pretty much. I never talk to anyone, I don't. That happened, well that lasted for about a half of a year and then I started to actually open up to people and start talking to people because I was just so shy and I just thought, oh, I'll just keep to myself. Mm. Yeah, I was that type of person. <laughs> what about, um, I guess it's, it is quite public knowledge, you know, you're in a relationship with, with somebody else that has a you know, high profile public image like yourself. Um, mm. Can you tell us about that? Who was he? <laughs> uh, um, I'm currently seeing Birding, Birding, mm -hmm. yeah, Birding Thompson. Um, yeah, we just, he came to our movie premiere for Born to Dance and he was, yeah, he was there, that's when I like met him. And um, he's Stan Walker's um, cousin, so me and Stan were real close filming Born to Dance and then that's pretty much how I met him. Yeah. And I was like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, <I didn't> <laughs> yeah. is, is, is that hard sometimes though? Um, going out and both of you quite well known, is, uh, is that hard or is it just... I think it's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, we just... I don't know. Do people ever look at you guys and are like, um, oh, that's those two? Sometimes, yeah, 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 sometimes, but not, not, it's not like, oh my gosh, they're together, it's just like, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is, really. Hey. What's yeah. that? Um, I got Pierce on my, my last name on my wrist. Mm. Yeah. When? Um, what is, what is, what does your tattoo mean to you? Obviously, your last name, but does it mean anything more? Um, I just love my family heaps, yeah, and my dad's side, this, like, they're the Pierces, and, yeah, they just they're just such cool people and then I yeah, I wanna keep that name with me. Even if I get married and change my name I always have Pierce on my wrist. Is is there like when you dance and you're like you finish a pose and you're like <laughs> it's like yes. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> oh, I remember I did it. I did this small shoot in Wellington and I didn't show my mum this and there was like a pose and it was showing and my mum was like, What's on your wrist? And I was like it's Pierce, so <laughs> it should be okay. Yeah. How yeah. important is, is whānau support to you? Uh, it's mess. It's, it's, if I, honestly, if I didn't have my family, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah it's like everything, pretty much. Uh, do they come with you to everything and, yeah. and gigs? And they come to every show. My mum's at every show. Sometimes my dad has to work, but like they always try to always be there for everything. Even if it's, a, if it's like a small little concert or if it's like a little fundraiser, they always try mm. and make an effort to be there. What about the big comps? Yeah, yeah, they always come to Worlds. My parent, my whole family has come to Worlds like every year. Yeah, like my mum fundraises and works like long hours to like save up money to all come, yeah. Mm. 
even though we're broke, but like every year we always somehow get all on the plane and all come back for some reason. Yeah, my mum just works so hard. So looking at that and looking at seeing the, the effort that your parents put into it, how does, deep down, how does that make you feel? Hmm. What is it? Sorry, can you repeat just, just seeing your parents work hard for you guys um, and seeing them put in these long mm. hours and whatnot and fundraise, you know, yeah. how, does, how does that make you feel? When I was young, I was like, oh, la la la. But now when you get old and you see like all the sacrifices they've made for you, you're just like, whoa, like I don't know what I'd do without my mum or my dad. Mm. Like, far out. Yeah. Don't so, cry. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> This is so, so it is quite emotional for you. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So looking at dancing, mm. um, how did that all start? Well, first it was just like a little like fun classes. My brother first started up north, and we we're like, oh, cool! Like we watched one of his dance classes up there, and we we're like, oh, cool! Let's let's start. So me and Ruthie started, and. It was just for fun, really, and then Paris came up north to teach a, um, a workshop with us, and then her dad just told my mum that they opened a studio in Auckland and that we should come audition, and then we were just like, oh, let's go do it, check it out, see how it like, which might be fun. Mm -hmm. Then we saw the studio and everything was just like, yeah, it was just mean, and then it just got real serious, pretty much. It became, like, we still loved it, but it came more of, like, a job rather than just like a hobby on the side, like how people have like a little thing on the side they do like once a week, but this it came became like a full time job. Mm. Yeah. Wow. So that's how it kind of started. So you moved to Auckland. Um, you become a part of the palace, uh, and so at what point do you realise I'm actually quite good at this? I could you know go places with it. Um, probably in 2011 when we won Worlds. Yeah, that, oh my gosh, my eyelashes suck together. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> Cut. Um, so was mine. No. <laughs> I was like trying to talk. <laughs> oh my gosh, shame. No, you okay. okay. I can start that again. Okay. Oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> um, so, you've moved to Auckland, um, and you're with, you're with the palace for a little while, and dancing is starting to make some inroads. Mm. So at what point do you realise that I'm actually quite good at this. Um, I think I fully realised when we won Worlds in 2011. Yeah, that just opened my eyes to like... Um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you can actually do something with dancing. Like, and it just made it like... It was like a massive accomplishment because there was like hundreds of people that entered our division too. And like, winning was like, whoa. This is kind of serious, like we can actually do something with this. Yeah. Yeah. Before Dance we move on the into more dancing stuff, is there anything that you want to cover um, going back? Maybe can we just talk about Ruthie and just oh. like, um, yep. how you um, So you're lucky you, you didn't have to experience this on your own. You know yeah. you've had a little sister as well, um, who I'm sure looks up to you too. Mm. Um, how has that been, you know, sharing this experience with your sister? Oh, it's been a me like it's been a crazy journey with my sister. It's been like a little bit hard sometimes, or a little bit annoying. Sometimes I'd be like, "Do it like this," and she'd be like, "Shut up," or like a little hit, or you know what, like typical brother and sister thing. But like it's been, it's it has, it's had its up and downs. But honestly, it's been such an awesome journey with Ruth. Like we won worlds together. Oh, when was that? No, we didn't win worlds together. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when did we win worlds? Oh no, she was in a different group. Um, okay, we don't, how do I sum that up? Oh, yeah, right. no, no, no. Just, you know, what is it like sharing this journey with your sister? Hmm. Oh, and what are you most proud of about her? Thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll, just, we'll just start it again. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, oh. Dancing with my sister has been so cool. It's like, it's had its high and lows, but like, I wouldn't, I don't think like it would have been as easy if I didn't have her. Like she would always like calm me down or if, but like we'd always argue all the time. Like I tell her to do something, she'd tell me to shut up or she would hit me and then I'd hit her back. But you know, it, it's, 
it's been so cool uh, like being with her and like seeing her grow up as a person like as a dancer and a person like she's she like acts more mature than me sometimes <laughs> like it's so cool and like dance has helped us become like it just, it's just helped us grow up more if that makes sense has it yeah. brought you closer yeah yeah it has yeah mm. like we spend if we're not at home together we're dancing together like we never have like another outside like we never apart from each other it's either in home or in the studio like we're always together which is really cool mm. yeah oh cool is that all is yeah. that all right cool. yeah yep. cool. so we were talking about coming off dancing and yeah i'll just no, cover up our <laughs> is that mum yeah go away sweet so what is your driving force behind your dancing or behind everything that you do that's all good, that's all good. We'll just wait, then I'll just... Hold on. question because it's about them. <laughs> <laughs> they suck, though. Um, oh, it makes me nervous. It's all good. Oh. Does it make you nervous, having... doing things yeah, in your Yeah, I just like to just do it by myself. Yeah? Yeah, it makes me nervous. Mm. Why? I don't know. Just being around, any, being around anyone doing this kind of stuff makes me nervous. Oh, yeah. Or people yeah. that you know? Yeah, even people I know, just yeah. anyone. Oh, funny. <laughs> That's why... You wouldn't, you Because when you dance around people, you don't know them. Well, like, oh, and you don't what, see them. That's what I want to say, because you were saying you had no friends and stuff at school and all mm. that. Oh, I always buzz out at the fact that you're quite shy and then on stage. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so should we talk about that? Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. Okay, and then I'll come. I've been hanging around Hunter too much. Yeah. Does he have some mean he facials? He has mean facials, man. He needs to get into ads. He's so cute. Here you go. He's, he's got like these with his eyebrows. Cool. He's funny. Look at him. <laughs> Even just a staring one. It looks like he's going to beat someone up. Yeah. Yeah. So. Boy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite. A transition for anybody you know sitting here with you you're quite shy and but when we watch you dance it's like a whole new different person how does that happen oh, I don't know I try to like when like I had really low confidence um, I had really bad confidence when I first started dancing and like people try to say oh just be confident person or help you on stage and I was just like oh like I was, I was actually shy in both areas when I first started dancing, and then I don't know when I've like a couple of times on stage. Oh, I'm not making sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to explain myself. I'm like I'm not making sense. It's okay. Oh, how do I explain it? Okay, so you're saying, you know, you you have you have low confidence. Yeah. Um. When did that change? Um. When I just pretty much started performing. Like when I'm on stage, I just get something just it just feels like unreal and you don't I don't think and when I get off stage I don't remember what happened like and then people were like whoa like you look different or you like and you then look you confident and like then I was like oh but I don't remember it's like so, it's like I don't know it's like when I get I just love being on stage and performing so much that I like I pretty much I like switch like yeah so why are you so why are you so <laughs> shy with doing stuff like this in front mm. of your family and then in front of thousands and thousands of people, it's fine. I, I have no idea. Well, like when I perform, like I don't see people. I'm just so focused on the dance and like on what I'm doing. Like I just lose myself with the music and I don't think about who's watching. I just do it pretty much. And then when I'm in person, I just get nervous even like talk, saying hi to or one time. This is a funny story. I, me, and, me and my partner both were um, trying to make reservations, and I couldn't even like call to make a reservation. I was like, "Hello," and then I hung up. And he's like, "Call again." And I tried again, and then I was like, "Hi, can I make a?" And then I was like, mm. "And then it, like it took me literally like three to four times to actually say hi." But I'm here to make a reservation. But I was like shaky. I don't know. I'm, I just have social. I'm so bad with talking to people. I don't know. Why. Is it like a? <laughs> So you're, you're just about to go out on stage. Is there like a, a switch that you can 
flick on or when yeah. do you switch? Is it when you get out of the car or? No, it's like I get ready, I do my makeup, I get changed and then when I'm on side of stage and you're just like, and they call out your group or like, and next is up or if it's like, like with Rihanna, like they're like, and next is like bad girl, we real, whatever. You're just like, shum. like when the music starts, you're like, I don't know, it's like a, like I'm schizo, I don't know, like a split, <laughs> like I have two personalities, it's like switch. Yeah, as soon as like I get on stage or like I hear the music, I like, I'm in the zone. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. It, it, it yeah. actually does. You're like, bye, I'm going. So. <laughs> My name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Okay. Looking at um, your driving force, what drives you to get out of bed every day mm. to do what you do? Definitely my family. Yeah, they they have gone through so much to get me where I am today, me and my sister. And like, even if like one day I'm feeling lazy, like I'm just like, oh, I can't bother. You're just like, oh my gosh, my mum's and my dad have sacrificed everything for me to get get here. And like they work long hours, they do everything to fundraise for me to get there. And I'm just like, oh, all I need was just get up. Like I don't need to do anything. I don't need to like fundraise. I don't need to do anything. I just need to dance. Mm. So that's probably my biggest driver is my family. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What has been the, the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome so far? In my life? Yeah, in, in your life. So let me start that again. <laughs> Looking to not only dancing, but you know your own personal journey, what has been the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome? Hmm, my biggest challenge would be... I'm sorry, oh my no, gosh, no. it's a hard question. This is the hardest question. Mm. Yeah. Mm, hardest challenge. Yeah, was there something that you find difficult? Um, yeah, or was it, ha, can you think of a time when there was, when you just didn't want to get up that morning? You just wanted to hide away from the whole Oh, world? yeah, I mean, you've been doing it for so long. Has there ever been a time where you just want to chuck it all in? The there the has been, it's just so hard to think right now. There's been so much. Yeah. Um, like the emotional journey that a dancer must go on. Yeah. You know, well, I wouldn't know, but. There's a couple of things I want to say, but I can't say. Yeah, it. yeah, totally. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. Because we're more looking at, because you've obviously overcome that big challenge, mm. because look at you now. Yeah. We're more, yeah, so we want to kind of hear about the challenge and how you overcame it. Yeah. How you got to here from going through that. Yeah, like... Well, well I, was I, bullied don't, I don't by want to Paris, but I can't say that. Yeah, and I, I can totally that, yeah. understand that, you know? Um, yeah, and I call that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah. yeah um, I was bullied when I was younger. What can I talk about? Oh, should I? Is it dance related? It doesn't have to be. You know, um, if 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 being bullied when you were younger is something that you remember, and is something that you remember overcoming, mm. then that that's a challenge. You know, because um, mm. it's something that so many other New Zealanders yeah. can relate to. Yeah, sucks. Yeah. Well, how, how, when did she stop stop bullying? Because she said sorry to me. She like pulled. Me. This was like. Um, this is maybe like halfway through the year, like around June. Yeah. She just pulled me, pulled me in the room and she was like, oh, Kai, I just want to like apologize because she probably realized that she was like, she deliberately used to just like go out her way to make me like, like look bad or make me feel like shit. Mm. Yeah. But she like pulled me in the room. And she's like, I'm sorry. Like, I know it would have like, if someone was like, like if someone was doing the same thing to her, like she would have just left. She's like, I just have so much respect for you for staying and stuff like that. And I was like, oh. Like, thanks, even though it was, it was yeah. <laughs> you, should have, you should have said, this is like months old, you should have... Yeah, this is years <laughs> old, man. Yeah. 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 Far out, yeah. yeah, but... No, yeah, she's see, all good. And even though you were getting bullied, you were still sticking to, mm. you know, you still kept dancing and stuff. 
Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna get back and bully her. Wait, when did you say out of Feb? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Now you've because I always thought she was just jealous of you. Yeah, because of the whole like Lance thingy, like all that. Yeah. And then I think when I had a boyfriend, maybe she. Yeah. She's like, oh, that's. Mm. Jealous. She's taken. <laughs> oh. Girls what you man. Mean? I know. She's always like worrying about everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Look man. Oh, wow. I'm shocked. It's just a snack. You should. <laughs> you have to eat. I, I do eat. Look at me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, my mom's lady. cool. <laughs> I was like, it was just um, stupid stuff. She's okay. pulling me like, yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. We are fine. <laughs> Happy. Yeah. Um, Are there any other challenges? I'm just trying to think. What about it's a challenge? <laughs> no. Did we Don't you get that? that? <laughs> <laughs> what about a, 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 ch a challenge that a dancer faces? Like, is there, is there something as a dancer that you face? She's actually quite fine. Oh, no, it's all right. You sure? Yeah, I'm just sweaty. Um, there's confidence or there's, like, trying to rush moving to America? Yeah. Yeah, because that's all you wanted to do once upon a time. Yeah. I mean, every opportunity she would be in now, she's just happy to... Mind you, does Bodhi got something to do with that? Because I don't want it to sound that you go... That he's, like, stopping her? No, that she doesn't want to go because yeah. she settled dish kind of. I don't want that to come. About. I can just no. I'll just say like, I'm but happy being home and and America, travel. Yeah. 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 Rather than move on America and rush things. Yeah. Because that's what you've always wanted to do. Like it was, it was a huge challenge. Every opportunity she was on that plane. And then there would be, there would be addition on. I would like be a strop for like a week because mum wouldn't let me go. I wouldn't even want to go to the studio. I was like, why am I going to the studio when I can't even audition for something I want to do and not be there? Like, I was yeah. like that. Yeah, but, but you realise that it wasn't entirely right that you could get work here and then maybe yeah. in the future. You'd still want to do that though. Yeah. You don't want not to do it. Mm. I don't know. Do you think that's That's perfect. Right? That's, yeah. Okay. Okay, how do I say that? Yeah. Yeah, so how does she... <laughs> okay, I'll... So can you script her? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't stay there. I can do it. I just oh, make okay. things that I don't know. So, yeah. in overcoming it, you need to include some things that helped you overcome it. So that would be getting more work here, yeah. which has been helpful, yeah. right? And also getting lots of opportunities to travel while you were here too. Do you know? Yeah. Whereas before, you didn't get those opportunities. You were just here. Yeah. Working towards worlds and then coming home, and that was it. Yeah. But now you can see the bigger. Yeah. Living at home, having the best of both worlds, really. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> okay, we're blank. <laughs> 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 so yeah, looking. Uh, I guess if I ask, you know, looking at challenges. Um, yeah. We good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just however it comes out is how it comes out. Okay. You know. Um, cool. So, um, the dance has, has consumed your life for so long. Looking at challenges, it could be personally, mm. it could be a dancing challenge. You know, what are some of those, well, what's one that you've overcome? Um, the, one of the biggest ones for me um, in my dance journey would be trying to rush things. Like, um, I would always just try rush and, like, convince my mum I want to move to America, I want to move to America, I'm ready, I'm ready. Like I always just try to rush things and I like when an audition would come up, like when I'd hear about one, um, like I would, I would get so worked up about wanting to go and like when my mum would tell me I'm not ready, I would just like about a week in, or two weeks, I'd just like shut down, I'd be like, like just, a wreck. A, a wreck. wreck. Um, like I'd be like, I've worked how many these all these years, and like this is what I want to do on a backup dance. Like, can I just go and like being shut, like told that you're not ready? Like, it hit me so hard. Like, I worked all like it was just yeah. Like I was down for about a week or two weeks after audition, and then I'd like pick myself up somehow. Yeah. How do you and do then, that? How do you overcome that? And I just like 
think about the bigger picture, like when I'm ready, like it will all fall into place. Like I don't want to rush things or push things if it's like not meant to be, then just don't fight it. Like, like if the tickets are too expensive or something like that, you know, like it's like I have something on that day or I have something on like not meant to be. But if it like if it all falls into place, then everything will happen. Mm. How? Are you able to get those same opportunities here in New Zealand? That same, the same type of work. Yeah, like that's one of the biggest things that like kept me happy here. Pretty much, like I've been doing a couple of things for like Mo Television, and like the biggest thing is like I've been well, obviously like my family, like, and I've like a partner now, and like yeah, everything. I know. I just need to look at the bigger picture really, and not just rush into thinking I know everything, but I don't. I have to listen to my mum. Yeah. It's funny how that comes about. Yeah, eh? they're always right. Moms usually know best. They, they, they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we can go there. Okay, cool. What about the future? What does the future look like for Kaya Pierce, or what would you like it to look like? Um, uh, I have no idea. I, I just want to keep dancing, but my biggest goal, it's always been the same thing is to obviously book a tour but to either do it with Rihanna or my biggest one is Beyonce like that after I do that I'm just gonna stop dancing and just relax I don't know why that, Beyonce she like well what is it about her dances that you just you're just drawn to that tour her dances are just insane. Like when you know you're booked that tour, that's when you're not, you're at your peak. Like you can do anything after Beyonce. Like you can, you'll probably book any job because she's like the top of the list for it. Yeah, and she's just like a beast pretty much. Like she, her, her dancing is amazing. Her singing is even better. Like she, I just love to book a tour with her really, mm. yeah. Have, have you managed to collaborate with any of her dancers or have you met any of them? Um, to, to um, kind of get a little insight into what it's like as a dancer with Beyonce? I've met a lot of like backup dancers, but I'm not quite, oh, sorry, I don't, I don't no, think so. Or even like, I don't think I've met one of her dancers. Or even like looking in, say looking into the life of, I don't know, Lance, and yeah. what it's like being a backup dancer mm. for somebody like Rihanna. Mm. What is that like? Oh, what do you mean? Like, well, you just mean? looking, you know, okay, maybe I should just, uh, I'll rephrase the whole thing. Um, looking into the future and when you book these gigs, because I believe you'll do it, um, what is life like as a professional dancer at that level? Um, yeah, how would it yeah. change? How would, how would life change for you if, when you book these top gigs? I wouldn't, I honestly, I wouldn't have to worry about anything pretty much. Like, well, you can just tour and have fun. Like, you have a mean income. Like, I, I can, like, support my family. Like, yeah. Is that the goal? That's the goal, yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's the goal to one day be able to book something where mm. your parents don't have to fundraise. Your parents won't have to work for you where you, can, you work for them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> Gorgeous though. Mm, that's it. quite strong actually. Yeah, even I'm gonna cry. Yeah, that's quite strong. I was trying to cry today. God. You were trying to cry at the funeral. <laughs> I know. Today is just not the day. <laughs> it's just open emotions today. Yeah. Um, oh, oh no, I was like, <laughs> shit, she was making me cry. No emotions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I just really want to know what you're doing now to till you book that tour, like because um, mm. you know workshops and yeah, I did a couple of those to fundraise. Yeah, yeah. Cause Try to make up on my face. Sorry. No. Okay. Do you want? You can look in the mirror oh, if you want. Then we can. Yeah. We can okay. Okay. Oh, it's all There's good. I just. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just an emotional wreck. Nah, we were pushing for that the whole interview, like talking about your mum. So <laughs> um, mm. Yeah, like, because it's now your job, because you, mm. you don't have an actual job. Yeah. Job kind of thing. Yeah. How are you making money? Yeah, okay. Running 
Yeah. You okay to talk about that? Yeah. Oh, like oh, well, it takes all my money, so yeah. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. yeah that's so what I, mean. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's yeah, hard. Day. It's hard. Oh, even the workshops. Oh no, I I I got to keep that money. Yeah, that and was my Christmas you get money. To keep presenter money. If you do presenting. Yeah. Things, yeah. Anything outside the palace, I. Oh, like, what about the post shop ad? No. I, because I did about three of them. I did a group one, I would have gotten maybe like two grand for the group one. And then I did a trio one, mm. I would have gotten like six grand for that. And yeah. then my solo, I would have gotten like 10 or 11 yeah. grand. And they got it. Brett took it all. That's how it, yeah, solo yeah. ads are like 10 plus. I know, that's why I was like, oh cool, she's got an ad. Like, cool, you need to make mm. money. Um, I literally did that dance a hundred, they made me do it over and over and over again, ads. like the whole day. The whole day, they, were, they didn't give me any breaks, and I was like, <sighs> I'm doing this just for the thing, just for the ad, it's okay. They literally made me do it over and over again. Ads, yeah, ads are stupid. She could have done that in one. Yeah. Like even ads are like, you just, like if you're going to pick up a spoon, they wanted you to pick it up a Yeah. Time. They put a box Amateur. on, they're like, do it once. Do it, do it again, I'll do it again, do it, I'll put, add another box, or do it again, do it again, add another box. Oh, let's take the boxes off one by one and do it again. I was like... <laughs> Gonna pass out. Tip number one is to always keep positive. Ah, oh, fuck! I can't not just say that. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Tip number one is always keep positive. When, especially. Okay. Yep. Tip number one is to always keep positive when things get real huff and oh. Hard? What the hell was that? Hard. It's my veneer, sorry. When things get hard, it's good to always keep positive and push through. Okay. Tip number <laughs> okay, okay. Tip number one would be to stay positive. When things get hard and tough, um, it's awesome that oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm sorry, okay. Tip number one would to always say, oh, is to always say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hey! <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, was that loud? Okay. Tip number one would be to always stay positive. When things get hard and tough, um, when you dance, it's always good to push through it and just stay positive. Yeah, it always helps you push through the end. Oh my gosh, can I say that again? Okay. <laughs> Tip number one would to be, oh, tip number one is to, would be to say, okay. Tip number one would would to be I can't talk. Okay. Tip number one would be okay. Tip number one would be to always stay positive. It's always oh my gosh, I can't talk. I'm sorry. Number one would to oh my gosh. Okay. Number one would be to always stay positive, especially when you're oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm retired. Okay. Number one would be to always stay positive, especially when you're like learning a dance routine. It's like really hard to always stay positive, but if you stay positive, you can push through it. And yeah, and you'll be sweet. That was cool, you like that? Maybe try one more one, yeah, yeah, please. Um, this thing here. I might just put it in behind you. Oh, it might, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, oh yes please. Number one would be to always say positive, so should we use a dance group? Yeah, that's all good. That's sweet. Number one would be to always stay positive, especially when you're using when you're learning a dance routine. <laughs> anyway, you, it's real hard and you just want to give up but being positive. Number one would be to always stay positive, especially when you're learning a dance routine. If it's hard or you have trouble picking it up, it's um, real cool to just like stay positive because it'll push you through to the end. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I can't talk. Sorry, I'm a little bit of retard. Sorry. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, that's all good.
Self-management. Self-management. Okay. Being responsible for your own time. Self-management. Don't get paid if you don't turn up. <laughs> okay. You'll get the wrong. Yeah. Self-management. Three, two. Number two would be self-management. That means like you have to look after yourself. To, oh my gosh, I don't even know what it means. Self-management. It's when you like self-management. Be responsible for like, always being on time and stuff. Okay. Be on time. If you're not on time for rehearsals, then you're not going to be there. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Number two would be self-management. <laughs> okay, wait, um, self-management is on you. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Self-management. Number two would be self-management. Um, self-manage, oh my gosh. <laughs> Fuck it, should you breathe? Okay. Number two would be self-management. That means always being on time for rehearsals, making sure you're, you always look presentable for jobs. Um, that's pretty much just taking care of yourself and just like being focused pretty much, yeah. Ooh, I don't know if that was it. Is that shit? Um, self-management is always being on time, looking presentable. And self-management. Number two would be self-management. That's, that's making sure that, okay. Number two would be self-management. That's making sure you're always on time to rehearsals or to any performances. And it means to like always look your best, be presentable. And, and it would be to just always work out and keep fit and healthy. So I don't look away too much. No, that was good, that was cool. Can you slow down a bit, which is good. Okay. And that's one, resilience. So resilience. And number three would be resilience. That's always. You don't even have to say resilience. Resilience. Number three is just. Um, is, to, is adapting to any. Okay. Yeah, yeah, being real adaptable and. Okay. Being able to fit in with new crowds and. Is, number three is adapting to any being situation. Being friendly and. You never know who's going to be your, the next yeah. person giving you a paycheck. No. Yeah, <laughs> resilience is adapting to any situation. Like. And number three will be adapting to any situation. For an example, if you're dancing or filming in like a really cold situation or if it's, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Number three would be adapting to any situation. So for an example, if you're filming a clip in like a, re in like a really cold, okay, I'll go again. In a cold, if it's raining, if it's just okay. Number three would be adapting to any situation. For an example, if you're filming a clip and it's raining, you just gotta like switch on and adapt to it and not moan, you just gotta get on with the job. Another example would be if you're working with someone you don't know or if you don't like them, you know, you just gotta get on with it and just get along with everyone and just adapt to anything. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm sorry, I'm a little That's bit. Awesome. I'm a bit. Uh. Were they real though? <laughs> yeah, like we honestly, we did. Um, Paris wanted us to film a clip. It was in winter <laughs> in a pool, underwater. Wow. Yeah, and one time we, what else did we do? We did a clip in Korea for a Beyonce. Do you know her Beyonce? She's like a medley to Beyonce. All her songs. We did it in Korea, and it was like negative something degrees, and we we're in like hardly no clothes.